Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. I will always argue that running is the best sport in the entire world. Why? For one reason. One reason. All you need are running shoes. That's all you need to go running for a long time. It's amazing. You don't need a golf ball. You don't need a pool. You don't need a bike. You don't need a racket. You don't need a field. You literally just get out your front door and run. All right. Anyway, just wanted to mention that. Okay. If you are new, welcome. Probably wondering why I'm holding a knife, a big knife. About to open this box from Running Warehouse. That's right. If you are here arriving on this channel because of the title of the vlog, uh, Running Warehouse Hall, Basically, this is a daily vlog, so the footage that you're watching right now on the screen is me going about my day, uh, going to meetings, driving around Denver, Colorado, where I live, but this is not a haul channel, definitely not. This is not a running channel. This is a daily vlog, where a daily story, where I share a little bit of my story with all of you, but I love running, so I pepper in running videos along the way that have a vlog feel. Now, I believe fully in the free market. I believe fully in the free market. I think the market will speak for itself to find that equilibrium equilibrium point for pricing. You, you're picking up running shoes. They're not cheap anymore. They never were really cheap, but they're definitely not cheap now. So I am not afraid to hunt for a good deal. At the same time, I'm not afraid to pay a little bit more to enter into an experience. To enter into an experience. Now, which outweighs the other? Probably price. But today, as I was driving to my meeting for work, I came upon this running shop. This It's a running shoe store literally inside a house. I believe it's called Berkeley, like Berkeley Neighborhood running shop something like that it's a very it's literally in a house it's simple they only have like 12 pairs of running shoes for sale but you go there for the experience now the prices actually weren't too too crazy i wasn't you know they weren't too expensive but you go in like saturday mornings there's a little kitchen in the back of this running shoe store and they have a cot of, a pot of coffee brewing for people coming in after their runs on Saturdays or they also have beer on tap. They have beer on tap at the running shoe store and they have memorabilia up on the wall from Hard Rock in western states and all these big ultra marathons that yeah I aspire to run in someday. Anyway it was really neat but for any small running shoe shop out there like I believe and now I'm not an economist but I believe quantity quantity you want to be selling shoes like hotcakes you don't want to lose money but bring your price down so that you're competing with running warehouse if you don't compete with running warehouse the free market is gonna whip your butt and that's the beauty of yeah capitalism I'll say it that's the beauty because it keeps the price down for everybody you got you picking up what I'm putting down all right here we go open it up now I'm not you know sponsored by Hoka by any means, but I do love them because I have had a lot of stress fractures in my running career. In college, I just had a lot of stress fractures. What is a stress fracture? It's your bone is literally breaking, starting to break because you're pounding so much on it. So Hoka's are known for their cushion and I have big dreams for running a lot of miles in 2018, including a hundred mile race, which you can go learn about up in that vlog. And so I want to make sure I'm taking care of my bonesos, if you know what I mean. That's from a kid's book that we read to our children. All right, here we go. Ba -ba -da -ba. So these are the Hoka um, Challengers. Hoka Challengers. Oh, I'm so excited. So these are this will be a good trail. So I'm, a, I'm mostly a trail runner. If you're a road runner, welcome. But I don't really run roads too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Challenger ATR 3. I'm not afraid to use last year's model. Oh yeah, ooh, nice, nice. I can tell these shoes are gonna be amazing. I like the Stinsons, but I can tell I'm gonna like these more. I'm just putting that out there right now. Lastly, tip of the day, tip of the day. If you wanna avoid, help avoid injury, go to Walgreens and buy double air foam insoles, okay? Basically, it's to add a little more cushion to every single step that you take throughout your run. 
And if you're running on concrete and pavement all the time, now maybe you're a very healthy person and you've never had an injury from running, but if you're trying to increase your mileage to get ready for a race, like really ramp it up, maybe 20% more than you've ever done in your entire life, you gotta be careful because you, you might get injured. You might get injured. So these little guys, double air foam insoles are four bucks. And basically these just absorb a little bit of that impact, especially if you're running on concrete and pavement. So that's my tip of the day for any runners out there that are thinking about ramping up that mileage and or combining high mileage with high intensity track workouts, road workouts where you're doing intervals. All right. So today we got, we got the Stinsons, which I've already worn. That's why they're muddy and the challengers. I'm excited. Thank you, Hoka. Thank you, Running Warehouse. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I order running shoes, I cannot help myself but to order at least two pairs of running socks. I love good running socks. Dry Max and Darn Tough, two good companies out there, I think. Um, and I like bright colors. I just like Be afraid to uh, put these in your shoes. And um, we'll see you on the trails. We'll see you on the trails. Okay. Okay. Here we go.